Hello, this is Ju. Hey, I'm in the process of making a music mix that I want to put on CD-ROM and either so I can play in my car or on my CD player at home. And so I've downloaded a number of open source songs that I like and I, I just want to put it on CD. I know CDs aren't the most popular digital media today, but it's still widely used and a lot of people like to make music mixes like I'm doing right now. And so I figured I would show you how to actually burn a CD with uh, music that you can play on your CD player at home. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a writable CD or CD-R as you can see right here. Uh, don't use a DVD. A lot of CD players do not play uh, DVDs. Uh, so just go ahead and buy yourself a CD-R or a writable CD. You'll also need a CD drive, either a portable one like you see here, which you can plug into your laptop, etc. Or if you still have a desktop, which uh, I do with a CD drive, uh, you could also use those. Now that should be a drive that can actually record to CDs. So on your computer, uh, if you have a Windows computer, you should have a program called Windows Media Player. And so to find that, you just go to the little search on the lower left like I have here and type in Windows Media uh, and it's popping up right there, Windows Media Player. I uh, click that and this will open up the free Windows Media Player. And as you can see right up here, it actually has a little burn tab and that's what we're gonna use to burn the CD. So from here, uh, we're gonna just select the burn tab and you can see my CD drive right here. It's number E on mine. And so it, it first wants me to insert a writable disc. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And there you can see it right there. Now next, what we want is of course, we want songs. And I do have a music mix right here that I'll just open up. So I do have a music mix that you can see right here. And so I want to put all that on my, my CD. So what I'm just gonna do is just select all these and I'm just gonna drag it over to this area right here where it says drag items here. And so I'll just drag it over here and there you go. All my songs are now on the Windows Media Player. And you can see a little bar right here that kind of shows you how much storage. I could actually put a lot more songs than I'm putting on here, but this is all I want for this particular CD. Okay, so next what you want to do is go to this little uh, drop down, this burn option uh, bar right here, and you want to make sure that it selects audio CD. Now, uh, uh, most modern uh, CD players can uh, uh, play data CDs, but just to be sure you want to select audio CD and that will make sure that all your CD players can play your music. And as you can see that since we selected audio CD, your storage ability is lessened than the data CD. Uh, here it has a maximum of 75 minutes you can store. Okay, so we selected audio CD and now all you have to do is hit start burn. And so we select start burn and here you can see that it's starting to burn uh, the music onto the CD. And so this might take a few minutes and so we'll just go ahead and wait to this until this is 100%. And there you go, it is done. And you have an audio CD that can play in your CD player. Well, I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.